Hi and welcome to this video. I am Lucas. Let's talk about something that might seem confusing at first glance. Why muting a track in the arrangement does not mute the corresponding channel in the mixer and vice versa. You might think this is a bug or an issue, but it's not. It's actually very logical and essential for workflow flexibility. Let me explain. First, you need to understand the difference between instrument tracks and instrument channels. An instrument track does not contain audio. It contains MIDI data, notes, automation and other events. This MIDI data is sent to an instrument and the instrument processes this data and generates audio, which is then routed to a mixer channel. So when you mute an instrument track, you're stopping the MIDI data from being sent to the instrument. But the audio output of the instrument Whatever it has already generated remains unaffected. For example, imagine you are working with an organ VST that has a rotary speaker simulation. Even if you mute the track, you will still hear the rotary noise because the instrument is still active and producing audio. To silence that, you need to mute the mixer channel, not the track. This separation between tracks and channels is not a flaw. It's actually important and can be very useful, especially when working with complex setups. For example, let's look at a multi-temporal instrument like Contact. With Contact, you can load up to 16 different instruments, each on its own MIDI channel. Now, if you want to mute just one of those instrument tracks, say the violin, then you don't want to mute the entire contact instance in the mixer, because that would mute all the 15 other instruments too. By keeping track mute and channel mute independent, you can control each track individually while still using one shared mixer channel for the audio. So in Studio One, instrument tracks and channels serve different purposes and their mute buttons reflect that distinction. Muting an instrument track stops MIDI data, while muting a channel silences the audio output of the instrument. This design is intentional and can be crucial for a flexible workflow. I hope this clears up some of the confusion. If you found this explanation helpful, please consider subscribing to my channel for more tips and tutorials about Studio One. Thanks for watching and see you next time.